How are you feeling? You got John Riggs here. Baby. We are playing Path to Nimesign. I believe that's how you pronounce it. This is a game for the Switch in the Japanese eShop. Easy to do if you haven't done so yet. Se uh, set up a secondary account on your Switch and give the address when you get when it asks for your address. Give the address any address in Japan. And when you access the eShop through that account, you'll get the Japanese eShop and PayPal accepted now. So pretty cool. Uh, this game is called Path to Nimesign. It is a visual trip. I love the art style of this game. We're going to play a little bit right now. Press any button in three, two, one, go. And we're starting a new game on here, so you can see what it looks like. The art style is everything in this. Uh, I set it up so there is English subtitles. Very nice. This is, gonna be, this is the little tutorial type thing where you're going. Um, still spoken in Japanese, uh, but it gives you the English subtitle, so that helps. Yep, you don't know have to do that. There you go, Lily. Good job. Uh-oh. What do you think you gotta do? Oh, jump over. Good job. And this is basically your perspective through the whole game, too. It's just down this narrow corridor, but you have little puzzle elements. Now, how do you think you open that up? You can kind of see through it a little bit. No. Go ahead and go ahead and reset the buttons, Lily. Go all the way back out. Like that? Yeah, remember how, remember how you reset the buttons? No. Right yep. So do that part again. And then before you go inside the door, look, look, at, look at the very top middle. What do you think? Good job. All right. Here we go, Lily. Activate your senses. How do I go over there? You can push left or right when you're on those things. <laughs> Isn't that cool? No. And they're lighting up above and below you, too, so you gotta find a way to hit them so they're all lit up. And you can go back and forth if you'd like to. Jump back. Jump. Like that. Oh, mm -hmm. See? You gotta hit a couple of them there, and then probably some of them ones uh, above you, too. Or try that one, and, and go go um, to the top one and see. Yeah, so different buttons either turn on or turn off different things. You don't have to jump on them, just hit, you have to, just have to step on them is all you gotta do. Well, I don't, I don't know the right button combination yet, but... There we go. I think it was getting closer. Maybe do some more. Just go for it. Yeah. Alright, here comes the noses and the ears, Lily. <laughs> That's not that. <laughs> That's not very nice, right? All right. <laughs> All right. I hear ya. Cause the ears. He knows what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you mean. <laughs> They're getting closer. Try hitting the other one again. See what happens. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's kind of relaxing, but it has little puzzle elements in there too that make it kind of fun. Hello, I. Hello, nose. Then yes. I'll make a man. <laughs> all right. Well, I made a yep. lit up. We gotta have them all lit up. Alrighty. Let's see what we got. Yeah. Well, this this game has a lot of puzzle elements in it too, so it's not, it's not all walking. 
Okay, you gotta take it from here. Go ahead. <laughs> How dare you? Well, you know. Go right to the eyeball. Right to the iris. Right. That's not really a puzzle, it's just Go for it. Okay. Yeah, and then those things will turn into blue orbs after a while, and you'll need those to uh, solve the puzzle at the end of the hallway. Um, hasn't done it yet, so. So keep going, keep going forward until maybe you can see something else. No, nope. back it up, back it up. Click that one. Oh. There you go. All right. Now can we go? Through? Now grab. Nope. Yeah, to grab those blue orbs, both of them. Well, let's go over there. Click on that, but don't jump on that. If you if you land on that, then it'll turn off. So. So do I, like, jump, jump over? Jump over it, yep. <laughs> if you just hit the jump button, you'll jump forward, so that helps. Okay, you can, can go you back. Uh, you, maybe you can, I don't know. I wouldn't, <laughs> if you'd avoid it. Like okay. the worm coming out of the eyeball on that other skull. Oh. It's upside down, sweetie. <laughs> How are you going to get to it? Zoop. Oh, <laughs> so close, but you got it. Good job. Okay, grab that one now. All right, you got them both. Okay, and you can step on them now if you'd like, because you already have them in your hand. They're not going to come back now. So go to the very end, and then they'll be like kind of a major puzzle to pass. And the puzzles are different, but they all involve getting those blue orbs. So here we go. So you have to hold L and then use the R analog. What's L? Uh, any of those will work. Hold that one to bring it out. And now use this, this stick over here to land it on one of the ones that needs a spot. Okay, now the other one. Yep, there you go. And then move it to that one. Oh, it'll, it'll just suck it right into it as soon as you get over it. Go ahead, there you go, perfect. All right, now rotate them. This is what this, what this puzzle is, and how do you think you solve it? What do you think? Yeah, well, look at the sides of the room, too. It's a big, a big old eyeball. Look at the pictures on the side. Oh, there's one. I just have to do the same thing, but upside down, kind of. left and right and up and down so just kind of <laughs> it's a fun way to put the sticks kind of downward and then just rotate it around until you find it until it gets pretty close okay because I see it has to be It was getting close. All right, Lily. It's just a memory. Calm down. All right. Ah. All right. And then there comes this part. Without, without jumping, just keep running. All right, now rotate. You can rotate the things left and right. They like those whispers. I wonder who those faces are. They're like Kickstarter people. I mean, this is a. Go ahead. It might just be random. Random faces. There's a whole lot more to this game, too. Oh, back up a little bit. You gotta find those little spots on the ground. There you go. Alright. 
<laughs> well, as we continue playing this, it is always a pleasure to have you watching our videos. Uh, thank you for watching and thank you for, uh, for your support. And always on the lookout for new cool games, especially for the Switch. I mean, now that um, PayPal is active in the Japanese account. So. Hey, that kind of looks like Sean. Is that baby Sean? From uh, FGTV? <laughs> I wonder what that's, that's what the faces dad. are. That's an FGTV dad. And the Actually, I wonder if you're right. Mike, and then the <laughs> eyes is changed. <laughs> you're backing up a little bit. Is that who that is? Yeah. Take a screenshot See? of that. That's crazy. Hold on. Take a, take a <laughs> I don't know him personally, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Hold on. Let me. Let me get them all so they're they're kind of face face up. Hey, and then that looks like the grandpa. I wonder if that's who that is, Lily. It is. It's gotta be, right? Yeah. See, don't you see it, Dad? Oops, wrong button. Don't you see it? I do. All right. No, that's crazy. Anyway, thank you, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna continue to play this game. 